Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I want to describe about the decision tables. Okay, so we are talking about one small example by this, then only you can easily understand. So for the decision table. So what are the components of the decision table? Now we are having four areas. That is the conditional step, conditional entry, uh, action step, and action entry. These are the four components or four areas that are there in the decision table and each column of the table whatever we are having is a rule that specifies the conditions under which actions named in the action step will take place. Okay, so conditions under which these actions are named in the action step that will take place. The condition step is normally is a list of names and conditions. How? By using one example this one we are going to see. What are decision table processes? Processors. Decision tables can be automatically whatever decision tables already we know in the programming languages, the flowcharts that we can contain some set of decision tables. Decision tables can be automatically translated into code and a higher order programming language, whatever it is. Here, if any of the rule is satisfied, the corresponding action will take place, or else it goes to the another rule. So this process still it continues when it process will continues whenever it satisfies any one of the rule and no um, in an action and no rule is satisfied then the default action is taken. That means if rule 1 is satisfied we will go for action 1. If rule 2 is satisfied we go for action 2. If both of the rules are not satisfied we go to the default action D like that. So these are a very useful tool to the programmers kit. And as well as in the business data processing also these decision tables are most widely used and these decision table processors are most widely used. And now we see how the decision tables can be represented. See I told already here we are having four different kinds of areas. Condition entry, action entry, condition stub and action stub. Here condition 1, rule 1 as, rule 2 as, rule 3 no and rule 4 no. Condition 2, rule 1, S, rule 2, nothing, rule 3, no, and rule 4, nothing. Condition 3, rule 1, no, rule 2, yes, rule 3, no, and again, not there. Condition 4, rule 1, no, rule 2, yes, rule 3, no, rule 4, yes. Action 1, we are having S, no, no. Action 2, 3, we are also having S, no, no. And coming to the rule 3, it is no, S, yes, no. And coming to the rule number 4, it is no, no, as like that the rules, particular rules, what are the conditions, what are the actions are clearly specified. You can understand easily this if you see one example. So let us see in this example of the decision table. Here the printer troubleshooter is the name of this particular example. Here conditions are printer does not print, see here printer does not print, a red light is flashing, printer is unrecognized these two are the conditions what are the actions whenever printer does not print check the con power table check the printer computer table okay so um, ensure the printer software is correctly installed or not check or replace the link okay so some check or replace the ink so inkjet is not working so check or replace the ink and check any paper is jammed inside in it. So all these are the reasons these conditions are not meeting. The printer does not print, the red light is flashing and printer is unrecognized. Whenever you meet these conditions, you have to generate the act, you have to check the actions like this. Checking the power table, printer computer table and the software is correctly installed or not, replace the ink and any paper is jammed, all these things. For example, the condition is printer does not uh, print. So the, for this rules rule, why uh, rule, yes, yes, some rules it met, some rules it, it's not met. And what are the actions? Check the power cable. Checking the power cable is uh, met with one kind of the rule. Check the printer computer table. It met with another kind of the rules. Ensure printer software is installed. It met some set of the rules. Check replace ink, it met another kind of the rules. Check for paper jam, it met another kind of the rules. So this is a printer troubleshooter. And the rules that we are having those, yes, yes, no, no, like that. The, these actions are mel combined with conditions. Then we can form this particular rule set. Okay, so this is the rule. This is the best example for rules.
okay whenever the particular condition is there the action is satisfied then you frame the set of the rules like this okay so decision tables as the basis for text case design so decision tables are also used for test case design so the specification is given as decision table can be easily convert into the program okay so the decision table can be easily convert into the program the order in which these whatever logical predicates are there these can be evaluated this does not affect the interpretation of the rules in the resulting action that means an arbitrary permutation of the predicate order will not or should not affect what action takes place whatever order in which predicates or which functions are going to evaluate that never disturb the Mm, affect the interpretation of the rules or resulting action okay the order of which rules are evaluated we have we are having does not affect the resulting action that means an arbitrary permutation of rules will not or should not affect which action takes place okay so that means an arbitrary permutation of rules will not or should not affect which actions takes place so these are the decision tables so these are various kinds of the decision tables that we are having uh, Uh, the decision tables that can be used for any many more things this also can also used for test case design and next decision table and structure decision table how it can be represented how the program structure can be represented let us see this is the decision table structure so here diamonds are the decision symbols and the corresponding nodes are nothing but the things so we can represent the actions like this okay so these are the nodes so the same decision table now we are going to represent for this particular figure that is condition a condition b condition c condition d action 1 action 2 action 3 rule 1 for action 1 okay so condition 1 rule 1 that is yes okay in the same manner one minute rule 2 yes whatever it is there that's what we are going to represent here okay so what is the rule 3 rule 4 rule 5 rule 6 all the rules that we are going to represent and all the actions that we are going to represent now i am expanding this particular table so what it is condition 1 2 3 4 action 1 2 and rules are 1 2 now i am doing rule 1 comma 1 so what is the rule 1 comma 1 so that is yes yes condition 1 it is yes okay and for uh, action uh, next one condition 2 it is yes condition 3 also it is yes and but for condition 4 it is no both are no it is also no okay so rule 1.1 see here whatever it is saying see here rule 1.1 it is one is yes 1.1 is also yes so it is yes coming to the rule 1.2 here it is yes here it is yes so it is yes coming to rule 1.2.1 here it is yes here it is also yes so rule 2.1 yes coming to the rule 2.2 here also it is yes 2.2 also it is yes okay so the answer is it is yes now coming to the condition 2 that is uh 1.1 that we are talking about okay so uh, next one is yes and third one one on one so s comma s that is s and no and no that is no rule 1 comma 2 yes yes it is yes 1 comma no it is no s comma 1 it is yes no comma no it is no rule 2.1 yes yes it is yes 1 no no S one yes no 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 rule two point two yes 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 one no no S one no okay so rule two point two I am talking about two point two means one and one that is no and last one is condition four no and no that is no now coming to the actions whatever actions that we are taken okay so one comma one action yes okay 
So rule 1.2 that is S and no that is S. Rule 2.1 2 comma yes to no and S that is also no and uh, 2.2 that is rule 2.2 that is yes and S that is obviously S. Like that you can represent the various kinds of the expansions in the decision table. The same thing can be represented here also. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes. So, A to S, B to S, O to S. Like that, the S values can be represented like this. Condition table and corresponding figure. Condition A is condition A, B, C, D. And rule 1, rule 2, rule 3, rule 4, rule 5, rule 6. It is given. So, rule 1, it is yes, yes. Rule 2, it is no, no. And rule 3, it is yes, yes. Like that, the decision table can be represented the set of the decisions okay now what is a troublesome program if a condition is met uh, then the process a1 can take place uh, to do the actions if condition b, a, b exist process uh, process a2 can work okay now condition c is met process a3 will do the other actions are taken none of the conditions are met then do process of a1 a2 and a3 when more than one process is done, process in A1 must be done first and A2 and then A3 and so on in that order. The only permissible cases here are A1 dollar, A2 dollar, A3 and A1 comma A3 and A2 comma A3 and A1 comma A2 comma A3. This is a trouble, troublesome program. That means uh, when our, whenever we are having uh, one process is done, the process A1 should be done first then A2 and A3 like this okay so this is another troublesome program that is uh, a by 3 and b by 4 c by 5 that is a comma b comma c a 3 b 4 c 5 that is a comma b comma c so 1 2 5 a 1 so 7 and 8 that is b bar and b 7 that is 8 a 2 that is c by 8 like that you can represent your particular program or table in this form of the program okay so this is nothing but what decision table what is the purpose of the decision table how we can represent the decision table like this this is the example of the decision table so based on this we will do the based on this we can easily understand what is what on the rules and are the decision tables thank you